Oh, that's everything really. Um, so that's one month's rent, one month's deposit, and the rent is due on the first of the month. Sure. When can I move in? You actually want to move in? Hmm. Well, just come out of a situation, and I just can't afford to be fussy. Um, rude. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I just meant I've got to move as soon as. Why, is there somebody after you? Look, I don't need that kind of trouble. OK, do you know what? Maybe this was a mistake. No, no, it's nothing like that. It's just I broke up with my boyfriend of five years and I could just do with starting over. So not even you can keep a man. Is there something in the water? Because I need someone that's got really good luck and the ability to retain things. I need all the luck I can get right now. Excuse me? You don't seem to be able to retain things. Hold on to things? Neither could the last one. Not a job, not a man, not her arse cheeks. She could even hold on to us. Could you believe she forgot about me after five minutes? Mm. Breakups are difficult. <laughs> oh, no, we were. <laughs> Nothing like that. Uh, well, there was that one time at Halloween. <laughs> oh, we were drunk. <clears throat> oh, never mind. <laughs> is today good for you? Uh, to, to, to move in, that is. Yeah. Well, it can't be as bad as coming home to find your fiancé teabagging Felicity. His colleague. Oh, no, our cat. What? Oh, no, it's fine. I'll pick up my stuff and drop it off tomorrow afternoon. Uh, that's great. Um, damn, even the pussy's getting more action than me. Yeah, yeah. So tell me why you feel away. Yeah, yeah. Why you feel away? Yeah, yeah. Still I wear my heart. Baby, don't go falling for me all in a week Either you will or you won't end up drowning Is it ever red if you know she's about it? No time for the clown shit, make you hit the ground quick So don't get caught up on your way to your crown king yeah. I would tell my younger self to another road Take me back to 012 We was caught up in the streets, we was running bus Now you got me missing you Darling, what happened to the lovely designer gown I picked out for you? I prefer my own clothes. You live here now and you remember the agreement. I showered and used regular deodorant, not the natural crystal roll-on. So. Well, that's incredible, and yet you still smell so musty. What is that? No, never mind. No, I was referring to the other agreement. Christ's well, sakes, mother! I am a sexual being, okay? I was becoming one with my yoni powers. And maybe you should knock before entering the bathroom. That was pure filth. And I'm not talking about that either. But now you come to mention it, could you kind of refrain from becoming one with your yoki powers under this roof? It's yoni, mother. The sacred word for your vagina. And maybe you wouldn't be so uptight if you got to feed on your vagina. That's enough! For crying out loud, what's wrong with you? Can't you behave like a lady for a change? No, I was referring to the other agreement. That if I plucked you out of that dump, you would come home and rejoin high society again. Yeah, well... I'm here, aren't I? I would tell my younger self to another road. Take me back to O one two. We was caught up in the streets. We was running us. Hi, it's me again. Just checking up on you. Left a couple of voice messages, but you haven't got back to me yet. Anyway, I was just checking on you. Place seems a little empty without you. Okay, well, I'll catch up with you another time then. All right, bye. Hi, it's me. Where the hell have you been? I've called like a thousand times. I didn't receive any calls from you. Well, I left a bunch of messages. Why? Did you miss me? No, I was just checking that they hadn't married you off to an earl or something. <laughs> Almost. Can't bear it here. Well, no one's got a gun to your head. 
It's your fault I'm here in the first place. If you hadn't interfered and insisted I call my parents, then we wouldn't be here right now. Oh, okay, so you were just happy to just sit here and starve. Oh no, better yet, have me take off like a bean-filled rocket ship and you had the money to bail us out, literally because you are richer than the Kardashians and the Jenners put together. I'm not rich, they are. I want nothing to do with their money or their Nancy, anti Yoni loving regime. What? <laughs> Wait, did they catch you getting one with your Yoni? You should have seen her face. All you could hear was this high priest squirrel that had an uncanny resemblance to one of those ancient kettles you put on a stove. Oh, a stove is it now? Oh, how very posh of you, Constantina. Oh, piss off. I'm only living hell on earth to help you. Look, to help me, look, don't I like you do me any favours? Acting like you're alone and destitute in the world when all the while you were just pretending to be normal. I am normal. I knew you wouldn't get it. Do you know what it's like to be somewhere where your every move was criticised and picked apart because you just didn't fit in? My dad is a serial cheater and my mum is the most functioning alcoholic you'll find. Drinking to pretend none of it's happening. Boo fucking who? You still lie to me all this time. Honestly, if you don't like it, just leave. Are you serious? Just forget it. Are you kidding me? Acting like you're hard done by. When honestly, you couldn't wait to get away from us peasants. Not one phone call. No. Me coming home was part of the deal. We needed to clear the debts, remember? Well, she doesn't control you. Tell her to shove her money and like leave. So do you want to tell her that and pay her back for the three months rent she just paid for us? <laughs> nah, I didn't say all of that. Hmm. Exactly. This is nothing short of blackmail. I really embarrassed my parents in front of their peers when I ran away and never came back. My mum thinks that by getting me back into high society again, she can redeem the family name. What is this? A bloody Jane Eyre novel? Where are your balls? You know what? You're right. Fuck this shit. I would tell my younger self to another rose. Take me back to O one two. I've arrived. <laughs> oh, so what? No butler. It's not very Bel Air of you, is it? This is hamster due to it, not Bel Air. What's going on? What's she doing here? We have an agreement, Constantina. No. You had an agreement. And I'm done with it. You can keep your money too, yeah? And it's Jade. No, now, Jade. Let's not be so hasty. <laughs> what? You cannot be throwing away good money, Jade. And clearly your mother knows what's best for the both of us. What were you talking about? Come on and take this. I have long hair. <laughs> I could be your daughter. Kesra, come on and stop being a weirdo. Adopt me. Kesra, I'm coming. <laughs> I would tell my younger self to another rose. Take me back to O one two. It feels so good to be home. <sighs> who, who is that? The new girl. We only have two rooms. Well, I guess she doesn't mind sleeping on the sofa. And why would she do that when she has a perfectly good room? What? You gave her my room! <sighs> You've got to be kidding me. Go well, let me politely tell her the new arrangement. There will be no need. Because you'll be sleeping on the sofa from now on. What? I can't believe this. You've got to be joking me. Oh, so you've got a job and your share of the rent. <laughs> exactly. And I still haven't forgiven you for lying to me all that time. 
and doing me out of all those freebies you took. But I really didn't have the money. Cheating me out of me living my best life as the rich bitch I was meant to be. Ain't nobody trying to adopt your grown up. The sofa's a little lumpy. I hope it's not a discomfort for you. Good night, Jadeline. Ooh! I would tell my younger self to another rose.